This is just a quick video on how to post a bill or purchase invoice in Xero. It's really straightforward. We're going to go to the business tab. We're going to click on bills to pay. And then we're going to click on new bill. Now I've got an example of an invoice here that we're going to use in the example today. The first thing it's going to ask is who the invoice is from. You can see in this example it's Josh Turner. So we're going to fill that out. The invoice date you can see is the 20th of March. And the due date in the terms and conditions of the invoice, it says here that the payment is due within 15 days. So we can simply just type in plus 15. Alternatively, you can also manually select the date as well. The reference is going to be the invoice number, which is 101. Now, if you click on this button, you can attach a copy of the invoice. Now we're getting a little error message here saying that the system already recognizes two bills from Josh Turner with reference 101. That's only because I've used these in a previous example. When you post your invoices, you shouldn't be seeing this error. In most cases, you can ignore the item code as this is only when you want to include inventory. If you are using inventory, you can select an item you are purchasing and it will also fill the necessary details for the item. So moving on to the description, that's going to be what the invoice is for. So you can see this invoice is for car parts. So I'll go ahead and type that in here. The quantity is going to be one. The unit price from the invoice is a hundred. Now, if you click on here, this is going to bring up your chart of accounts. For this example, we're going to use motor vehicle expenses which is for the car parts if we go back to the invoice it says that we're with 20 percent vat the system has recognized that already you can ignore the region for now and as long as you're happy that the the invoice total matches up so 120 120 you can go ahead and you can post this invoice And that is how you post a bill or purchase invoice in Xero. If you have any further questions around this, please do get in touch with myself or my colleague. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for checking out our video. If you'd like to learn more about the latest and greatest in fintech, check out our app center. The link's in the description. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.